Hello everyone. So welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss Newton Raphson method. So which is another approximating method of uh, solution of algebraic and transcendental equation. So I'll suggest before coming to the Newton Raphson method, you kindly watch the video of bisection method to have a better understanding of Newton Raphson method. So see when we can use Newton Raphson method. So it is written that when the derivative of f of x is a simple expression. Means if you differentiate a function, suppose this is one function x square plus twice x plus 1. So if you differentiate it, what will get twice x plus 2. So it looks very simple. So this type of simple derivative, this type of simple expression we can uh, easily solved by using newton raphson method to find the root of the given equation. Now, <clears throat> if a function looks like this, suppose a to the power x, e to the power minus x square by some log x square plus 1, then if you differentiate this type of function now, so its derivative will be a little bit complicated. So those type of functions will avoid a solving by using what Newton Raphson method. So for those functions we can use other approximate method like bisection method and regular falsi method. But in Newton Raphson method the derivative should be a what? Simple expression. Okay. So by this particular method we can find the approximate root of equation like this f of x equals to 0. And what is f of x is an expression where its derivative is what a simple expression. Now to derive the formula, <coughs> let us understand. So we have to find the real root of this particular equation f of x equal to what? 0. So I think you still remember that in bisection method, we find two numbers, right? Suppose c and d, two numbers, where at c we have negative value and at d we have what? Positive value. Then where the root will lie? Between what c and d okay between c and d suppose we, um, we are supposing that x1 is the actual root so if x, x1 is the actual root then f of x1 will be what equal to 0 so here also in this method also we have to find a initial approximate value this is not the actual root but this root is very very near to what the actual approximate root. So how we we'll find this? Suppose first we have to find two numbers where at one point the function gives us negative value and at another point the function gives us what positive value. Okay. So a is in between x1 and x2. It may be anywhere. So suppose this is a. So such type of point we have to find first. Okay. Now this is not the root but this is near to the actual root. So suppose how much correction you needed? H. What does it mean? If suppose a equals to 1.5 is the initial root and after finding st some steps we see that at 7 step we are getting a number 5.9 and f of this is what is nearly equal to 0. Okay. Suppose it's like this. So it's nearly equal to 0. So we say that that 1.59 is the desired root. So initially we have started with 1.5 and after some steps we are getting that it is 1.59. So what is the correction? 0 0.09. So that is h here. Okay. So h is the correction needed. So in example we don't need h <coughs> but to derive the formula um, we have to talk a little bit on h. So h is the correction needed. So what is the final root then? f of a plus h. Okay. f of a plus h. Root means what? If we put this particular a plus h in the function then it will become 0. Now the left side you can break by applying what Taylor's formula. So what is Taylor's expansion? It is f of a plus h into f dash of a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash of a plus h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of a plus dot dot dot. Okay, equal to 0. Now what example just now I showed that here h is very small, right? So if, is, if h is very small, then h square, h cube, all the higher order terms are much more smaller than h. 
So what we do, we will neglect these terms, higher order terms. Okay, since h is very small, h is very small, so we neglect, we neglect h square and higher order terms. Higher order terms. So then finally what, what is left with us? f of a plus h into f dash of a equals to 0. And from this we can easily find h. h equals to minus f of a divided by what? f dash of a. So h is what? h is the correct value. So this is the correction. Then what will be our first approximation? First approximation, let it denote by a1. Okay, so a1 is a plus h. So a plus h, h is how much? Minus f of a divided by f dash of a. So this is the first corrected value or first approximate value. Now you see, if you look at this line and this line, now you see we don't need h now. To get the first approximation, we already need, uh, we, we already know a, what is a, that we have um, selected initially. Then what is the second approximation? a2. It will be a1 minus f of a1 divided by f dash of a1. Okay. Then third approximation, a3 is equals to what? a2 minus f of a2 divided by f dash of a2. So like this, we can deduce a formula or we can derive a formula. It will be like this. See, if the if the left hand side is 3, then it is for how much? 2. So 1 less. So here we are writing n. So our left hand side will start from a n minus 1, then minus f of a n minus 1 divided by f dash of a n minus 1. f dash means what? Derivative. So this is the recurrence formula or fundamental formula for what? Newton Raphson method. Okay, so it's very simple. So <coughs> let it denote by equation number one. So therefore, equation one is the fundamental fundamental or recurrence recurrence formula for Newton Repson method. Okay, Newton Repson method. So it's very simple. Now initially we are talking about h. H is the corrected value, but finally you see we don't need h. So at the beginning we have to find a number a. So that is up to us. And how we find a? We already See in bisection method how to find uh, a initial value or initial root. Here also in a, in example I explain again. Don't worry how to find that. Then after finding a, we'll find a one. That is first approximation. Then second approximation. The thing is that where we'll stop in bisection method. If it is given that up to three decimal places, suppose after putting some number, we are getting 0 0.0005. Okay, then that will be our root. Okay, if we get these things after putting uh, suppose 7, x7, then x7 is the root. But here it is not like that. Here, after some steps, we will have a repeated answer. Suppose at x5, we are getting alpha. At x6 also, we are getting the same number alpha. Then alpha is the required root. So it is a little bit simple in calculation. Okay. So let us go to the problem. So here we will try to solve this particular problem. Find the real root of x cube plus x square plus thys x plus 4 equal to 0 by newton Raphson method. So this is the function x cube plus x square. Now newton Raphson method is applicable or not? To see that we have to differentiate it. This is a very simple expression, right? It's very simple. So we can apply newton Raphson method. Then after that, what to do? We have to find a initial approximation or initial root. 
So if we put zero, how much you'll get four? So it is positive. If we put minus one, how much you'll get? Minus one. If we put minus one, still it is greater than zero, right? And if we put minus two, so randomly you have to find, you have to, uh, if you, uh, you have to put some values to get a approximate root, okay? So if we put minus two, how much will you get? Uh, two. Is your minus six. So now it is less than zero. So the root lies between root lies between minus one and what? Minus two. This is minus one and this is minus two. Here we have uh, at minus one we have positive value and at minus two we have negative value. So the root lies between minus one and minus two. <clears throat> so you can take any number as initial approximation. You can take minus one also, you can take minus two also, or any number between this, you can take minus 1.5 also. So let us not complicate it. So let us take the first number. Or according to your issue, you can take minus 1.2 also. So if a equals to minus one, then what is the first approximation? So you see, the concept of h is not needed here. We will directly jump to the first approximation. First, okay, first approximation is what? A1. So A1 is A minus F of A divided by F dash of A. A is our minus 1 because we choose A as minus 1, F of minus 1, then F dash of minus 1. Now, where from we can find F of minus 1? The given function. The function is what? f of x equals to our given function is uh, f of x equals to how much it is? x cube plus x square plus i x plus what? 4. Hmm. So if you put minus 1, how much you will get? 1. And our f dash x is 3x square plus twice x plus 3. Okay, plus 3. So if you put f dash of minus 1, how much you will get? It's 3 plus 3, 6 minus 2. How much it is? 4. So this is minus 1 minus 1 divided by 4. So after calculation, our first number will be minus 1.25. So this is our first approximation. This is very simple. Okay, then second approximation second approximation a2 so a2 will be what a1 minus f of a1 divided by f dash of a1 a1 is how much minus 1.25 then f of minus 1.25 divided by f dash of minus 1.25 so in the same way to find f of minus 1.25 we have to find minus 1.25 in the function f of x and to get f dash of minus 1.25, we have to put minus 1.25 in the, in the derivative f dash x. Okay. So calculation part kindly you do, otherwise our video will be a little bit longer. So when you calculate it, after calculation you will get minus 1.223. This number will come. Now if you look at the last two number, no, this number, this number and this number are not same. So what I said in Newton Lepson method. If we get repeated number, then you can stop. So this is not same number. So we have to do further, third approximation. <clears throat> so it is how much? A2 minus F of A2 divided by F dash of A2. Now our A2 is minus 1 point, minus 1.223. And then this will be your minus 1.223 then f dash of minus 1.223. So again you calculate to get this value we have to put the number in f of x and to get this value we have to put the number in what f dash of x. So when you calculate you will get minus 1.223 <coughs> will be minus 1.222 okay minus
minus 1.2 degree. So again, you see this last number and this number are quite nearer, but it is not exactly the same. So let us do one more step and see we are getting repeated values or not. Till we get repeated values, we have to do the calculation. F dash of A3. So how much it is? Our A3 is now minus 1.222. F dash of minus 2. Okay. If you calculate, now it will exactly same as the previous one. So here we have to stop. Okay, when we get repeated values, there we have to stop. Since A3 and A4 are same, so minus 1.22 is the required root, root of the function of x equals to what? It is very simple, right? So at the beginning, what we have? We have a function given. So differentiate it. So after differentiating, it should be a simple expression. Then after uh, finding some random values, we have to find a positive number and a negative number so that we have a, we get an idea between which two number our root lies. Okay. So here we see that between minus 1 and minus 2, our root lies. So, as I said that we can take any number between uh, from minus 1 to minus 2. So, for our, in this particular case, we have taken A equal to minus 1. So, you can take any number, you put some other number, you see that the same result you get. If you choose minus 1.5 or minus 1.4 or minus 1.7, you see exactly the same result you will get. Okay. So, calculation part you do very carefully and it is better if you do the same problem with me then you will see that it's very easy okay so whenever needed you just pause the video do the calculation and again you watch it for the next step and finally after finding some steps a1 a2 a3 and a4 we see that at step a3 and a4 that is in third and fourth approximation the values are repeating so whenever the values are repeating, that is our actual approximately. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you uh, get some benefits from this video, kindly share with your friends. Thank you once again.